everyone. Welcome. I am Ayushi Gandhi and today we are going to discuss about ozone layer depletion, one of the global environmental issue. If you are a millennial, you will spend your whole life hearing about hole in ozone layer. So let us discuss about ozone layer depletion. Firstly, let us study about ozone layer formation. The earth atmosphere is what makes life on earth possible. This atmosphere protects us from harmful radiation from sun and helps maintaining the earth's temperature by trapping some of the heat that enters atmosphere and acts as a natural sunscreen. The earth atmosphere is divided in five layers. First layer is known as troposphere. Second layer is known as stratosphere. Third layer is known as mesosphere. Fourth layer is known as thermosphere. And fifth layer is known as exosphere. The second layer which is known as stratosphere which is 20 to 25 kilometer above the surface of the earth. It holds a very important shield and protects us from sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation and let only good waves pass through them. The shield is known as ozone layer. Now let us learn how ozone layer is formed. Ultraviolet rays decomposes oxygen into atomic oxygen by photolytic decomposition. Oxygen molecule is reacting with ultraviolet rays and producing two atomic oxygen. O2 plus HV gives O plus O which is two atomic oxygen. The atomic oxygen now rapidly reacts with molecular oxygen. M is the third body necessary to carry away the energy released in this reaction. Here the reaction goes like this O plus O2 plus M gives O3 plus M. M is a third body necessary to carry away the energy released in the reaction. Ozone thus form distributes itself in stratosphere and absorbs harmful ultraviolet radiation and it is continuously converted back to molecular oxygen. O3 plus HV will give O2 plus O. O2 is molecular oxygen and O is atomic oxygen. The net result of above reaction is an equilibrium concentration of ozone. Now let us discuss about destruction of ozone layer. Ozone layer is mostly destructed by CFC which is chlorofluorocarbon. CF chemicals which are combination of carbon, hydrogen and fluorine. CFC 11 and CFC 12 are mostly destroying ozone layer in which CFC 11 is trichlorofluoromethane which is very dangerous and one of the most important chemical in destroying ozone. So where the CFCs are utilized? CFCs are utilized as coolants in refrigerators and air conditioners. They are also utilized in propellants, in cleaning solvents and stuffing of mattresses. Non-toxic at sea level but if they get in upper atmosphere they are subjective to photo disassociation. CFC released in troposphere reach stratosphere and remain there for 65 to 110 years destroying ozone molecule. Now how CFC destroys ozone layer? Ultraviolet radiation hits CFC molecule. So CCL3F is hitted by ultraviolet rays and will produce CCL2F plus Cl. This is the equation of CFC11. Now there is also other element of CFC which is known as CFC12. So CCl2F2 will react with ultraviolet rays and will produce CClF2 plus Cl. 
chlorine atom breaks away from the CFC molecule and this chlorine atom hits the ozone layer or ozone molecule and destroys the ozone molecule. Now how the separated chlorine atom will destroy ozone molecule? Now this separated chlorine element will react with ozone Cl plus O3 and will produce chlorine monoxide plus oxygen molecule. Chlorine atom takes one oxygen atom to create chlorine monoxide and leaves one molecular oxygen which is shown by the equation I have told you earlier. Cl plus O3 will give ClO plus O2 which is chlorine monoxide and oxygen molecule. Then chlorine monoxide will react with atomic oxygen and will produce chlorine plus oxygen molecule. Now this oxygen atom hits chlorine monoxide molecule. So again the same reaction I have explained to you. Chlorine monoxide will react with atomic oxygen and will produce chlorine plus oxygen molecule. You can easily see in this reaction again chlorine is separated from the reaction process. So now again the chlorine is alone. So what will chlorine do? The chlorine is acting as catalyst in this reaction and reappears. It is estimated that one chlorine atom can destroy one lakh ozone molecule in one or two years. Now, how we can calculate ozone layer is depleting, then what is the ratio? How you can calculate which element is depleting ozone layer in what proportion? So there is an element named or there is a definition of ozone layer depletion. There is a term for measuring the depletion rate of ozone which is known as ozone layer depletion potential. It is the ratio of the impact on ozone caused by a chemical compared to the impact of similar mass of CFC 11 the ODP of CFC 11 is 1.0. So it is measured by CFC 11. So the potential can be measured by comparing it with CFC 11. The other element which is harmful to the ozone layer is known as nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is also very harmful element destroying ozone layer. It is emitted by supersonic aircrafts and it is also emitted from combustion of fossil fuel and by action of bacteria and by use of nitrogen fertilizer which breaks the ozone molecule. The area of damage is known as ozone hole. What is ozone hole? The area which is damaged in the ozone layer where the ozone molecules are destroyed that is known as ozone hole. In 1977 ozone layer was fine. In 1984, suddenly registered a hole in ozone layer and in 1987, Montreal Protocol was signed to protect the ozone layer. So as the ozone layer was damaging day by day, in 1987, Montreal Protocol was signed to protect the ozone layer. Now, why we should protect the ozone layer? We should protect ozone layer because it has some very dangerous effects. So what are the effects of ozone layer depletion? Let us study one by one. So the first effect of ozone layer depletion is ozone layer depletion in stratosphere will result in more ultraviolet radiation reaching the earth. The ultraviolet B radiation affect DNA and photosynthetic chemicals. Any change in DNA can result in mutation or cancer cause of skin cancer it does not cause death but it creates problem in human body. The second effect of ozone layer depletion is easy absorption of UV rays by the lens and cornea of the eye will result in increase in incident of cat. So the third effect of ozone layer depletion is melanin producing cells of the epidermis. What is epidermis? It is the upper layer of the skin. Important for human immune system will be destroyed by UV rays resulting in immune suppression. Fair people 
who cannot produce enough melanin will be at great risk of UV exposure. The fourth effect of ozone layer depletion is phytoplanktons are sensitive to UV exposure. Ozone depletion will result in decrease in their pollution, thereby affecting the population of zooplankton, fish, marine animals and in fact the whole aquatic food chain. The fifth effect of ozone layer depletion is yield of vital crops like corn, rice, soya bean, cotton, bean, pea, sorghum and wheat will decrease. The sixth effect of ozone layer depletion is degradation of paints, plastic and other material which will result in economic loss due to the effects of ultraviolet radiation resulting from ozone layer depletion. So these were the six effects of ozone layer depletion. Now let us study how we can protect ozone layer because it's very important, it is, its effects are very harmful, it causes skin cancer, melanin production is reduced, yield of crops is reduced, that means production of crop is reduced which will affect us human beings. Every element of the nature will be affected by the depletion of ozone layer. Now let us study why we should protect ozone layer or how we can protect ozone depleting chemicals. Now, even after stopping the production of ozone depletion chemicals, the models indicate that we still have to wait for 50 to 100 years for the ozone layer to return to 1985 level and another 100 to 200 years for full recovery. So, so, so the best method to reduce ozone layer depletion is substitution of CFC with chemicals which have low ozone depletion potential like HCFC, hydrocarbon, ammonia, etc. Now, Montreal Protocol was formed in 1987 and the participants agreed to freeze production of CFC at 1986 levels and to reduce production by 50% by 1992. In 1992, the phase out date for CFC and Helon entirely was moved to 1996. In 2012, CFC emission was reduced by 0.8% but in 2013 rate slowed by half. This may happen by new source of emission. The new source of emission was identified in East Asia and it was identified that it was China who was generating large amount of CFC elements in the atmosphere. By advanced global atmospheric gases experiment, the source was identified. China was taking this very seriously and they also issued a public statement showing that they will not allow any emission of CFC by now. And they are taking this treaty of Montreal protocol very, very seriously. So they were requesting their industries to stop emitting CFC. Now let us summarize what we studied in today's lecture. Firstly, we studied about ozone layer is present in stratosphere the second layer of the Earth's atmosphere. Secondly, what we studied is the ozone layer absorbs harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun and prevents them from reaching the Earth's surface. Third, we studied about ultraviolet radiation of the sun can cause skin cancer, blindness and other harmful disease. They can also affect the growth of plant. Fourth, we studied about CFC, HFC and other ozone depleting substances from the refrigerator, spray and plastic material react with the ozone molecule in the stratosphere. This results in depletion of ozone layer. We also studied about ozone layer formation. Fifth, we studied about 
the use of ozone depleting substance should be banned in order to prevent the ozone layer from disappearing completely. Sixth, we studied about ozone layer protection and how we can protect ozone layer. Thank you for watching this video and if you want other update, you can also visit NASA's site and read and study more and more about ozone layer depletion and how it is affecting us, the atmosphere, the environment and every aspect of nature. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next lecture of Global Environmental Issue where we will study about acid rain formation and how acid rain is affecting the earth. Thank you.